Hey everyone, Bob and Audrey. We're standing here in beautiful British Columbia, actually on Vancouver Island. Yeah. Behind us, the Georgia Strait. But in this little time that we have together, we just want to begin to talk with you about the seasons of change. Mm -hmm. In our lives, change is inevitable. Mm -hmm. But the question is, will we experience growth in these changes? I love, Bob, how you've always said that. Change is inevitable, but growth is, is optional. optional. And um, I always want to choose growth. I always want to choose growth through any of my seasons. But the reason we're talking about this, for one thing, we just had an amazing weekend with the we people did. here in Vancouver. And we had breakthrough. There were some marriages that were not going to be together. And most of all, there were marriages that were staying together, but they weren't being transparent, open and honest with each other. And the result of our Love Married Life weekend together, you know, some serious, we can't go in detail just to protect their privacy, but serious breakthrough took place. And marriages Countless are- Countless couples. Yes, and people You know, we had enjoying... a Sunday morning service, and yeah. so we were with them Friday night, all day Saturday, Saturday night, and then just a celebration service this morning. It was beautiful. I, I, I'm in love with these people here. I really am. And they have so loved us back. It's, it's so true. It's so good. But we received a question recently about, you know, Bob and Audrey, can we speak with you? We're having a season of change. And it's hard to know what to do in these seasons because all of a sudden confusion wants to come in. And all of a sudden we have all these pathways in front of us. Where do we go? Even, you know, this afternoon we received a, a text message from, you know, friends that say, hey, can we talk to you? We're experiencing a change in our lives and we mm -hmm. just need to run some things by you. Yeah. I mean, change is challenging. Mm -hmm. You know, change is uneasy to us because it takes us out of a place where things are familiar to a place of the unknown. Mm -hmm. But I believe that change is absolutely necessary, but we must accompany growth with that. I mean, God really wants to enlarge your heart and your life to be able to sustain and display his glory in the earth. So with that then comes change. And probably, Audrey, one of the things I'm most thankful for yeah. are the changes in me. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm so much more at peace than I've it's ever true. been. I will say, I am so I glad. I have more joy and no, laughter seriously. and celebration. Yes. Okay, here you go. Leave the cord alone. <laughs> Let's fix our horizon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you only saw our setup here, a pole stuck in it, it's not right. It's not right. <laughs> but finding peace. Yeah. You, you see. Bobby, I'm so glad you brought up the word mm -hmm. peace because the best decisions that you'll ever make regarding change is when you have peace in your heart. And and that's when it's the most challenging to have peace because all of a sudden confusion wants to come in and say, wait a minute, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I Probably one of the big, hardest decisions we made, re um, not recently, but about 11 years ago was to move away. And Bob, I was so conflicted with, but maybe this is just what I want. How do I know it's not, how do I know it's what God wants? Maybe it's just me. And I remember a phone call with someone who we really admired, one of our mentors, and he just said to us, Audrey, God gives you desires in your heart. Do what's most natural. Do what you're desiring and just know that God works within that and there's peace within that. There's the smile of God upon that when he works within the desires of your heart. And I just felt so much peace and I yeah. felt peace about that decision ever since. Yeah. But with our with our seasons of change, yeah. it's, it's normal to yeah. feel a little awkward, a little yeah. Definitely. That's okay. But just make sure that you're being truthful. That all of the, you know, pieces are on the table. Yeah. That you're not withholding, you know, information or holding things in the past or things about others or, you know, maybe even some fears that you're ha having in your heart. Because in order to have peace in the season that you're in, you must first know that you have peace with God. Yeah. Have peace with He's yourself. He's not disappointed in you. Have peace with others and even have peace with your past. You know, that allows you to have, those you know, to have the peace in the yeah. season and it helps you, you know, to be able to make a more clear, you know, decision about the direction that you're going to. I just know that this is a divine appointment for someone right now, that you're having to make some decisions and some choices. And you're not you're not just part of this right this second by accident. And we wanna pray for you yeah. to really experience that. Just like our friends are asking us for wisdom. Lord, I pray for my friend right now who needs wisdom 
and you are the giver of wisdom. You are our Father. And I thank you, Lord, that you're giving wisdom to that one, clarity, peace. Mm -hmm. And I pray that they'll be able to even identify the desires of their own heart and be honest with their own fears, but really put it on the table knowing, God, here it is in all my brokenness. Here is what I've got together. Yes. And, and, and Lord, I just pray that you'll breathe your breath of life on my life and help me to make great decisions. Good. I want to remind you of something, you know, just before we go, and it's simply this. Just because you're feeling a little anxious, just because you're possibly unsure, um, maybe there's conflict, maybe there's a little bit of pain. You see, uh, having peace in your season isn't the absence of the conflict or the pain but rather the presence of someone. I love that. And that presence is the presence of King Jesus. Yeah. Jesus is our Prince of Peace. Mm -hmm. So even though you're, we may be struggling, even though we may have apprehension, even though there might be uncertainty, there's an absolute confidence. And that's yeah. where we find our hope. Yeah. Because hope is an assurance. Ho uh, faith, it says in, in Hebrews, faith is the substance of things hoped for right. and the evidence of things yeah, not seen exactly you see faith is stepping into the absolute you know it's it's not stepping into the unknown yeah. but absolutely how am i persuading my heart of the realities of god yeah. and the promises of god audrey and i want to share with you this week and help you along to know that the promises of god and the provision of god precede you and that they will draw you and pull you into God's preferred future for your life. There is absolute hope for you. You, you, you cannot, you know, go below the hope line. Oh, you prisoner of hope. <laughs> we just really want to just tell you this to encourage you. Go with your heart. Yeah. Go with the desires of your heart. Know that King Jesus, Prince of Peace, reigns in your heart. So yes, there you he go. Does. He's king. He is on the throne of your heart. And don't look back unless it makes you smile. And just know that God is moving you towards something where he is smiling. So just say yes to him and then everything else will fall into place. As you trust in him, you will dwell safely in the land Good. and you will prosper. Read the whole blog yeah. because we're going to talk about this and really encourage your yeah. heart. Oh, I got another one. Yeah. Just another one. <laughs> He's and just full of them today. <laughs> it's called, it's simply called the Father's Blessing. Yeah. And I don't know where your earthly dad is, and I don't know exactly what your relationship is, but I do know this, that your heavenly Father wants to speak his blessing over your heart and over your life. Yeah. So be sure to get alone with him, because when you know the Father's voice, and you know that his blessing is on you, then you've got confidence. You can climb that mountain. That's right. You can get to the other side. You see, your best days are ahead. We love you. All right.